Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you here how to create a design in Canva that you can use on LinkedIn. So first of all, I'm going to click in here, click it, click, oh, I can't even say it. I'm going to click on create a design and click on a presentation. So it brings up the presentation. And so as you can see here, I've got pages along the bottom. So you can just grab hold of anything and just put it in there. Okay. Um, or then you can start putting in your own branding and things like that. So if I go to my, uh, if I go to uh, the background, I can actually go in there and choose my brand colors. So it's, it, this is in my style. This is my color and my branding. So I can go in here and the text, I can also make my branding um, and, and, and create what sort of design I want to. I can go into uploads and I can bring in my logo. I've been doing this for so long. I've got so much stuff in here. There we go. There's my logo. So I can bring that up there and put that in there. Put that down the bottom, maybe. Let's get rid of that. Look, this isn't this isn't to show you all about design and stuff like that. So, so that's page one. Yeah. And then what I do is if I just uh, click on the page, so the whole page is uh, done. There we go. So it's just the page now. I can then duplicate that page. So now I've got page two. So the next slide. And just keep adding in new slides. And if, I, if I'm if i working, what, what, I, what I'd like to do is work from this slide and then duplicate it because then every single slide is the same. If I just click on new slide, it's just bringing in a blank slide. Okay, so I want to bring in stuff that I've done before. Now, there's loads of design things that, that I can show you. Um, but not for this purpose today. So once I've got all my slides, so I've got three slides there. Let's just put in here um, some text. I'm gonna call this last slide. And uh, there you go. Very important when you're doing a presentation that you um, put in your call to action. So let me just put in here. Um, come on, call to action. You want, you want to actually have a call to action in here so that people will do something, go somewhere or whatever. So there you go. Uh, let's put in my phone number, for example, 077 There you go. So you can actually give me a shout now. All right, so that's all you've just slides. Now what I need to do now is give it a, a title. So I'm going to call this demo for dot post. Um, and then I'm just going to click on share and I'm going to download this. Um, it comes as a PDF as standard. Um, that's fine. Click on download. And that has now been downloaded. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab hold of um, the message here. Go into full cup coaching, co coaching and create a post. Now the document post is here. So I'm going to create a document post, choose the file. So that's the demo that I've just done and call it, uh, this is a demo of a post. I've got spectacular. Right, so that's all that done. Click on done. That's created the document. Now what I need to do is uh, create a post and I've, I've created another video on what to do here. So I'm just going to put in it's a quick demo. See the video in comments. So that's all I'm going to do. Um, this is going to my private group. So only people that have been on my workshop get to see this group. So it really doesn't matter what I write in here. Um, and I just click on post. Uh, in fact, let's just do what I should be doing all the time. And then click on a post. There we go. That's created the post. And then we go into here. You can now see each individual slide. Um, and if you want to view it, you can actually now down if you're at the top, you can actually download those slides as well. So if you put on some good information and then some callbacks on the back, so your, your offer or whatever it is, then that's a great way to do it. So hopefully that has helped. If you've got any questions, please get in touch and check out my other video on 
uploading a document post. 